everybody, Kevin from TobaccoLocker.com, and I have an uber special cigar for you guys tonight, and one that I'm even more stoked about now that I've found some information online. We're going to get right to it. We are smoking the new Hamlet 25th Year by Rocky Patel. Uh, I was actually disappointed because uh, uh, about a week or so ago, Rocky had a big event down at Bern in Naples, which is about an hour and a half south of us here at Tobacco Locker. Um, uh, debuting this cigar and I really wanted to get down there because I love Rocky's place. It's not as cool as the Tobacco Locker Cigar Bar, but it's all right. So you're going to have to get with, or bear with me here because this is a long one. Literally on Rocky's website, there was this much information. I go Cigar Aficionado, there's this much information. So I'll try and make it brief or fast. So the Hamlet 25th year will be a milder offering than Tabacero, his first release, and is something he said he has been asked for by consumers. Every rolling event I would host, I would be asked for a medium or even a mild cigar, and my first blend was very robust. Peretti said in a press release, now I'll have a cigar for the everyday smoker on the market, he added. So Hamlet Paredes. I forgot to tell you who that was. I just kind of started in there. Anytime I see someone's making a robust cigar and then they wanted to go, go down to a medium or mild, because that's where I'm at. I love medium to mild cigars. Super stoked. To achieve this milder blend, Paredes selected an Ecuadorian Habana wrapper, which gets paired with a broadleaf binder from Pennsylvania and fillers from Nicaragua and Honduras to create what the company calls a medium body smoke with notes of cedar and toast. The cigar is made at Tabacalera Villa Cuba SA, the Nicaraguan factory co-owned by Patel and Amacar Perez Castro. It will be released in three sizes, all coming in 20 count boxes. Hamlet 25th Robusto, 5.5 by 50, 25th Year 60, 6 by 60, and the Toro 6.5 by 52. The name is a, a reference to the Paredes 25th year in the cigar industry. I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name. Paredes, that's what it sounds like. It's P-A-R-E-D-E-S, with a little over the S at the end. After spending the early part of his career on the rolling floor of Cuban, Cuba's cigar factories, Paredes became the in-store roller at Briones Montoto, the old Romeo Julieta factory, as well as the famous and highly visited La Casa del Habano at the old Partigas factory, where he would later become a manager as well. As an in-store roller, he became well-known amongst cigar smokers, for custom blended rolls, which were only available where he was working. From there, he went on to being a global ambassador for the company, traveling the world to host rolling events and interact, interact with retailers and customers. After leaving Cuba in 2015, Paredes was introduced to Rocky Patel by way of prominent British retailer who knew him and wanted to help him get established in this new chapter of his life. Patel set up Paredes and his family with a place to live before bringing him on at Bern in Naples, Florida. From there, he began working on his first band, Tabacero by Hamlet Paredes. So, like I said, anytime I get a chance to smoke a, a mild cigar, I'm always game for that. I do love and appreciate uh, fuller, richer body cigars, but they're not my wheelhouse, they're not my cup of tea, my everyday go-to. So, this will be good. Good change of pace. I've been smoking a lot of heavy cigars lately. If you've watched any of my other reviews, reviews, you have reviews and videos. But then again, if you're watching this one, you don't know where in the mix that I'm at. So who knows what I smoked last time? You could have watched one prior to this and it would have been a mild cigar. So now you just have to go back and watch them all. This one's a big one. This one is definitely not the Toro. Five and a half by 50, six by, so this is gonna be the 60, the six by 60. This is a beast. Which is sometimes good. Toro's my favorite size. A lot of times I think when they shrink up a cigar, um, you get a lot more densely packed flavor and it can be more enjoyable, sometimes it can be less enjoyable. For the most part, I like a Toro because of the, so or the, the size of it and the length of the cigar smoking. Usually a Toro gets me 
60 minutes or so on a smoke, which is a lot of times all I have uh, available to me. Uh, tonight I'm off work early and I got a lot more time, so this 6x60 will pass that time quite nice. Definitely starting off very, very mild cigar, uh, very good draw. Not really getting any any specific notes, any taste, any nuances. Just a so far, just a good, smooth, clean burning cigar, and one that tastes like tobacco. I'm not getting chocolate. I'm not getting leather. I'm not getting all the other things that you read about sometimes. So I'm just getting a good, just a good clean burning cigar. Pairing quite nicely with my Bacardian diet. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna smoke this down for a little bit and I'm gonna get back to you cats in a little while. All right, and we're back. A very, very good cigar. I remember at the beginning, uh, Hamlet Pretties um, had mentioned people kept asking for a medium or even a mild cigar because his first blend was very robust. He says, now I'll have a cigar for the everyday smoker on the market. I would definitely say medium to high end on the medium. For me personally, almost borderline. A, uh, a full-bodied cigar definitely um, I, I wouldn't put this in the mild category at all very good cigar very smooth cigar very well burning good draw um, but just a uh, just a little bit um just a little bit of, like tongue bite it was uh, a little bit of a hot cigar but uh, still a very 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 good cigar um, me personally an everyday smoke probably not but it's definitely a smoke that I would have in my lineup when, um, when I would want a more full-bodied cigar, like I mentioned earlier. This would definitely be one of those cigars that, that I go for. You know, um, for, for me, like I said, this is, like I said, you know, medium to full-bodied. Definitely a very powerful cigar, but definitely not, not strong and robust like a lot of the other cigars, you know, I've, I've been smoking the last week or two. So one of those cigars, if you're, if you're not into a lot of uh, like Rocky Patel stuff, a lot of his fuller bodied, uh, richer cigars, um, definitely one you're, you're definitely going to want to try. Kind of the hot new cigar out right now. So definitely, definitely a must, a must buy, whether you're a fan of Rocky or not. Um, like I said, everybody seems to be talking about this cigar so far, rave reviews from everything that, that I've read, people posting on the old interwebs. So, definitely Hamlet by Rocky Patel from Hamlet Paredes. Definitely uh, stop at your local uh, tobacconist. Um, uh, I've been reading so much about these online that they should be available everywhere. If you can't find them locally, definitely tobaccolocker.com. I know for uh, a fact, probably got uh, a, a pile of them about this high, about five feet high. So it, we definitely have all that you could possibly want. So definitely come check us out at uh, TobaccoLocker.com. But first, as always, check your local tobacconist. Shop local. The point of this uh, channel and the point of these videos are not to get you to buy cigars from me. Just trying to, not me personally, from the Tobacco Locker. I don't work there. I just make videos for them. In return, they let me enjoy their atmosphere because it's a wonderful, wonderful place. So, like I said, check them out. Check local first. If you can't find them, definitely come to the tobaccolocker.com. You'll be helping out a mom and pop business. So, I think that's all we got for tonight. Uh, cats and kittens. And, yeah, I think that's it. Go out and pick one up. So, all right, fellow lovers of the leaf. Until next time.